Hey guys, it's Dolphite here with episode number 25 of our Arsenal career mode on FIFA 21. This is going to be the final episode of season number one as we take on Leicester in the FA Cup final. It's a competition that Arsenal are very good in in real life. And uh, we're going to look to take advantage of that. We're going to play the FA Cup final. We're going to hopefully win the FA Cup final. We're then going to have a look over the season stats and try and make a plan for the transfer window at the beginning of next season. They've re-signed Kramerich after his failed... Failed first time at the club. We're playing one bounce, you know. Our boys, our boys are calm. They've been here before. We're just playing one bounce. We got some Champions League winners in our squad. Half red, half blue. Arsenal versus Leicester. Gotta win it today. Come on. We'll have one piece of silverware to show at the end of the season. We obviously we started the Community Shield. We lost to Liverpool in that one. We then played Spurs in the Carabao Cup. We lost on penalties in that one. Premier League, we were never really in that fight. We were knocked out by Atalanta on goal difference in the Europa League. But we've made it all the way to the final here. We've got to get a result. We smashed United in the previous round. If we could do the same here today, that would be absolutely brilliant. But that's the man we want lifting the trophy above their head next. In the next 90 minutes, we want that man to lift that trophy above his head. Right, so for Leicester... Look at their lineup. It looks as if it's a fully strengthed lineup. There's no Soyuncu in the back line though, but they do have Lindelof, Zinchenko, Amati, Priet, Ndidi, Tielemans, Barnes, Cromwich, and Perez. So there's no Madison and no Soyuncu. As for ourselves, pretty much fully strengthed. Thomas Partey is the only one that loses out to Maitland Niles. I think Maitland Niles deserves to play in the FA Cup final after filling in for Thomas Partey in most of the games. Lovely la last tackle there, last ditch. And another one. And we've held possession, here we go. Skips past Amati. He's got a man ahead of him in Zaha. Finds Alba. Alba to Ceballos, first time, great save. Man coming short. Edge of the box, Hector Bellerin. Knocking it through. Martinelli keeps the ball in possession. Got men in the middle to aim at. He finds Ceballos a one. Finds a Bamiang, strikes it, blocked. And away. Not only as far as Ceballos. Bamiang again, another chance. With Zaha out wide. Overlap and run, Kieran Tierney. Back inside to Wilf. He goes inside to Ainsley. Ainsley making the Niles 13 minutes into the game. That is why we picked him over Thomas Partey. Tucks it home. Arrives late in the box. What a goal. Lovely little finish. What did I say? This is ours to lose. Bang. What is going on? What is going on? Kramerich. Here we go. Here we go. Danny Sabas. Bringing us forward as he always does. Knocking it through in that little gap. That's brilliant. Cutting inside. Striking it. 2-0. Wilf Zaha got the assist for the first one. He's got the goal for the second. You love to see it. Aubameyang picks that ball out brilliantly. It's done. This game is done. It's over. We've won it. Too easy for Zaha and the boys. Let's go. 2-0. Chance here. Kramer just come out on wide. Hector Bellerin makes an easy tackle. We get the ball away. We progress up the field. Tierney's making his runs as he always does. Knocking inside. Look at the space. We're going down this side now, boys. We're going down this side. We're going back inside to Ainsley. Oh, what a save. Oh, the Techers. You love to see it. 2-0 at half time, we're dominating. Dominating. Look at that. These boys, they've turned up to Wembley. And they've they've just they've they froze. They froze on the big occasion. My boys, we've already been to Wembley three times this season. Here we go. Another chance. Ainsley's charging into the middle. Ainsley oh that's brilliant, Ainsley. That is so so good. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang makes it three. 
easily make the nozzle. That is absolutely class. That little dinked ball over the top. Look at this, little one-two. Look at that first touch, brilliant. It just chips it up for himself, and then he chips it over the top. Aubameyang hits it first time. Gets the better of Lindelof, gets the better of Schmeichel. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is here on the big stage. These boys don't know what to do. They don't know how to deal with us. We've improved since that last time. That 3-2 result, if you remember, we went 3-0 down. We almost came back against them. Gabriel knows what to do. Is that a red card? Is that a red card? Is it a yellow? It's a red. It's a red. Big man don't care. Gabriel don't care. Kramaric. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to score. He's actually going to score. So, uh, that red card kind of meant nothing. He's running over to Brendan like, like this is the start of a comeback. It's not. Again, he's playing on the right wing. He's Probably better on the left or at striker. So he's playing in an unnatural position. Lovely from Callum Chambers. Can we get something here? Can we get can we knock it through to Wilf? Can Wilf finish the game off? Yes he can. Wilfred Zaha. 4-1. He has been incredible here today. Two goals, one assist for him. Finally bringing in Soyuncu. Bit late now, mate, in it. In it, Brendan. Bit late. Harvey Barnza again, past Bellerin. Can he get past Umtiti? Can he get past Umtiti? Nope. 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 That's, a, that's what a World Cup winner can do. That's what a World Cup winner brings to your squad. Lo oh, that's class. Hector, through to Alba. Alba makes it five. Alba's got two goals for today. We've got 10 men, but we're still smacking them about. Love to see it. They just were not prepared for this today. They played a poor back line. We took advantage of that completely. Yeah, they pass it backwards. There we go. FA Cup winners for the 2020-21 season. We've retained our trophy. Our first piece of silverware for the season. You love to see it. The boys, they smashed them here today. They absolutely smashed it. Maitland Niles was the right decision in the midfield. Zaha was brilliant out wide, and Abamyang up top was just as business as usual for that man. He's going to be lifting the trophy. What a season. What a way to cap off the season. We're back in the Champions League. We've won the FA Cup. Push on next season. Definitely. Here we go, though. First piece of silverware for the... For the there. there we go. The prestigious FA Cup. The oldest cup competition in football. We've won it again. Abamyang's going to lift the trophy. Here we go. The first trophy of the season. Ooh. Hey it above his head Woods Woods we've done it we've done it uh, let's go first piece of silverware for the season but not the last it's not the last piece of silverware we're going to win here at Arsenal hopefully we can get some more success I don't know where I am now running over to the Arsenal fans I didn't have to travel far for this one Superstars, the superstars, Hector Bellerin. They've just, all of these boys have been consistently brilliant throughout the season. Martinelli, you can see him in the background there. He's going to be a first teamer next year. Pepe's in there somewhere, and Pepe, I haven't told him yet. I'm going to invite him into my office, and I'm going to tell him, you're on the transfer list for next season, my friend. It's been fun, but you're just not performing well enough. Let's get the last team photo with the trophy. Maitland Niles, the man that kind of started it all here today. There we go. Arsenal winners of the FA Cup. And that's going to be it for the gameplay for this season. Let's go look at the stats. And the, just look at the stats and the figures throughout the season. As we look at the Premier League, that was won by Liverpool. 
with 28 wins, 5 draws and 5 losses. 89 points for that one. Man City came in second with 82 points, so it wasn't even that close. With 23 wins, 13 draws and 2 losses. Ourselves in third, 23 wins, 9 draws and 6 losses. United in fourth to round off the Champions League spaces with 21 wins, 10 draws and 7 losses on 73 points. So again, not the big, um, not really that close between ourselves and fourth. Leicester coming in in Europa League place with 69 points. Strunk with Spurs beating them out on one goal difference. Going down is going to be West Brom, Sheffield United and Leeds. As you know, we just won the FA Cup against Leicester. The Carabao Cup was won by Spurs against ourselves on penalties, 3-1. The Champions League will be going to Liverpool. They won the league and Champions League double, beating Barcelona 2-1 in the final. The Europa League, the competition we were in, was won eventually by Juventus, beating Napoli 2-0. They got knocked out of the Champions League, but at least they did go on to win something. As for the top goalscorers for the Premier League, that is going to be Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang with 26. Salah was second with 24. Kane third with 21. Martinelli was fourth with 20. And Sane, uh, sorry, Mane ending off the top five with 17. So let's see then. Who made, who made the most appearances? So as Leno made the most appearances with 57 appearances this season. Four in the European Shield, the pre-season. One in the Community Shield. Played every single game in the Premier League. Four games in the Carabao Cup. Five games in the Europa League. And five games in the FA Cup. 6.3 average rating again for a goalkeeper. That's not going to be that bad. Gabriel played 54 games this season. Brilliant. Same with Tierney. Ganduzi played 52. Bamian played 51. And then Sabayas and Martinelli just missed an out on the 50 mark. Only making 49. As for goals, we've got Bamian scoring 46 goals in his 51 appearances. He got 1 in the preseason tournament. 26 in the Premier League. 5 in the Carabao Cup, 6 in Europa League and 8 in the FA Cup. Martinelli coming in 2nd with 20 in the Premier League, 2 in the Carabao Cup, 7 in Europa League and 1 in the FA Cup. Then we've got Zaha and Pepe both on 11. Ainsley and Tobias from the midfield getting 8 and 7, again very nicely done. Cockburn got 6, all of which coming in the Europa League. Ganduzi got 4 as we move down, it gets less and less. So that's, that's good. So most assists this season was Martinelli with 19. Bamian came second with 16, Sabaris with 14, Maitland Niles with 14 as well. He's been absolutely brilliant this season, given his not consistent run of games. Pepe got 12, Ganduzi got 10. Really good to see. Wolf Zaha got 9, Xhaka got 8 as well. That's really good to see. Nelson with 6, Sesk with 4 assists in 7 games. Williams leaving here got 4, Bellerin got 4, Thomas Partey got 3, Saka got 3, Cockburn got 2, Mertens got 1. So that's really good to see. That is going to be that for this season. We wrap it up with a FA Cup victory. I hope you guys have enjoyed this season. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the transfer window in the next episode. Peace.